So now we're going to find out after the addition of 50 milliliters of our 0.1 molar NaOA solution that we are at the equivalence point of our strong acid, strong base titration. Remember as always that the number of moles of hydronium are equal to the number of moles of HCl that we've added because HCl is a strong acid. And then also uh, uh, remember that our concentration of hydroxide is going to be equal to the concentration of sodium hydroxide because sodium hydroxide is a strong base. As always, because we're doing a neutralization reaction, the first thing we want to find is the number of moles of hydronium and the number of moles of hydroxide. And then when we do this calculation, we notice that the number of moles of hydroxide that we've added during this titration are equal to the number of moles of hydronium that we've had initially. So we are at the equivalence point. But the problem here is I don't really need to do any calculations, that the calculations that we've been doing before are going to lead us to an incorrect answer. It's up for me to know that at the equivalence point of a strong acid, strong base titration, the pH is equal to seven. And once again, I know I'm at the equivalence point because the number of moles of acid that I started with is equal to the number of moles of base that I've added. So how do we know that the pH is equal to seven in this case? So let's look at what happened if we applied the calculations we've been using thus far. So we say that we you know, have a certain number of moles of hydronium uh, starting, and then we are using up a certain number of moles of hydronium through the addition of base. If we did this subtraction, that would say we actually have zero moles of hydronium left or that our concentration of hydronium is equal to zero. And we know that that cannot be true. That remember, even though we're looking at an acid-base reaction, there is water present. So the Kw in a reaction is also present. So when we look at the Kw equilibrium, we can see here that uh, hydronium and hydroxide are involved in it. And remember when we have an equilibrium, we cannot have a zero concentration of any of the species inside of there. So it's impossible for us to have a zero concentration of hydronium when we have water present. So what happens is the amount of hydronium that is in our completely neutralized solution. So if you think about it, what we've done is completely converted our acid into water by adding a base to it. And what happens is the KW expression takes over in terms of the number of, uh, or the concentration of hydronium. So the KW determines our pH at the equivalence point. So when we look at that, we've already talked about uh, the pH at, uh, determined by the KW, that uh, KW is equal to the concentration of hydronium times the concentration of hydroxide. This is equal to one times 10 to the minus 14th. So the concentration of hydroxide and the concentration of hydronium are equal to each other, 1.0 times 10 to the minus seventh, or pH is equal to seven. So remember, this is our definition of neutrality, is that the pH is equal to seven. So this is something you just need to know, that at the equivalence point of a strong acid, strong base uh, titration, there really is no calculations to determine the pH. Once you realize that you're at the equivalence point, you know the pH is equal to seven. And this is true for any um, strong acid, strong base titration. When you reach the equivalence point where the number of moles of the acid are equal to the number of moles of base, the pH is equal to seven. And so the other thing that you need to notice when we talk about weak acid, strong base titrations, that's not going to be true. For a weak acid, strong base titration at, a, at the equivalence point, the pH is going to be greater than seven. So that's going to be one of the big differences between these two types of titrations.